Walking free from court this afternoon, the father cleared of failing to protect his son. The jury believed Youssef's wife had been solely responsible for killing their seven-year-old son, Yassine. It must be a huge relief for you. Thank you very much. And your thoughts for your wife? It is a tragedy that such a promising young life was taken away in such disturbing circumstances and that those who loved him most will not have the opportunity to see him grow up to become a young man. Back in July 2010, when fire crews were called to a blaze at this terraced house in the Canton area of Cardiff, they found the body of a young boy in one of the bedrooms. At first it was thought seven-year-old Yassine Ali Edge had died from smoke inhalation, but investigations revealed he was dead before the fire started. His mother, 33-year-old Sarah Edge, had killed him and set fire to his body to hide her crime. The court heard that here at the house, Sarah Edge subjected her son to a catalogue of systematic physical abuse. In police interviews, she admitted beating him like a dog with a big stick, frustrated at his inability to learn passages from the Koran. A post-mortem examination revealed Yassin had broken ribs, a fractured arm and a fractured finger. At the Jamia Masjid Bilal Mosque, on the very street where Yassin lived, they're learning the Quran. These boys are a little older than Yassin, but he was well known and well liked by them here. The Imam says the close knit community is horrified by this crime. He was a very lovely little boy. Sometimes you come into the mosque, and uh, sometimes you come to uh, read the Quran in mosque and come in for prayer as well. And he was living very near to the mosque. And we are very sad. It's clear Sarah Edge's arranged marriage to taxi driver Youssef was far from happy. With no family support, she was also depressed following two ectopic pregnancies and breast cancer. Even so, neighbours on the street can't believe what she did. When you learn more as the, as the years or so also have gone on, you know, learn more about what's happened, it's, it's, you just can't believe it, really. I know all the community leaders will get together and will certainly try their best to try and help the family in any possible way we, they can. Years before his death, there were warning signs that all was not well at home. At one of the schools Yassin attended, a classroom assistant noticed he had an injury to his hand, which meant he couldn't write properly as long ago as 2007. At another school on another occasion, staff were told he had a leg injury, which prevented him from sitting. An internal inquiry has now been completed and a serious incident case review is due to be published by the local authority and its partner agencies. Sarah Edge broke down and wept in the dock as the jury of ten men and two women found her guilty of murdering her son. Her husband, Yusuf Ali Edge, was found not guilty of failing to protect his son. Remanding her in custody, the judge, Mr Justice Wynne Williams, said he would sentence Sarah Edge at a date to be fixed sometime in the new year once psychiatric reports had been prepared.